The Center for Justice and Reconciliation at Point Loma Nazarene University exists to engage the deep injustices of our world through the lens of our faith. Through research, advocacy, and connection with our community, we endeavor to be the change we want to see in the world. Our students have pushed us to grow our work to impact regional efforts around human trafficking, worker justice and fair trade, and immigration and racial justice. As we develop deep partnerships in the community with people who engage these complex issues, our team can be found meeting with gang members and with the district attorney, with the chief deputy border patrol agent, and with undocumented immigrants, with victims of human trafficking, and with traffickers themselves. At the heart of our strategy is our deeply held belief that we are called to nurture hope. As we learn to hold the deep pain of our brothers and sisters who are hurting, we also bear witness to the power of hope rising. In the spring of 2014, a dream began to grow that we could offer college scholarships to survivors of human trafficking. Without a staff to support this dream, Center Director Dr. Jamie Gates called on interns and alumni to help bring the dream to life. We believe that empowering students to put their beliefs into action can bring about real change. We also know that mentoring students well will grow those students into alumni who invest back into the university. Alumni and interns continue to have a profound impact on our work. Being an intern at the CJR during school was something that gave me like a really tangible way to put into action all the things I was learning about. So spending a lot of time in class and you know, outside of that, just like grappling with questions about justice and the way things work. And having so many questions, the internship really gave me a way to engage my questions and then learn while I was actually making, hopefully making a difference. I mean, had you said to us three years ago, you're gonna have five full-time students who'll be supporting with a scholarship and the center will have grown and <laughs> you will be invited to uh, develop a curriculum for prevention and I mean, just everything that's happened yeah. in the last three years, it started with really just faithfully, I think, listening first to all the students. So it was students like you that came to Dr. Gates and said, what are we doing about trafficking? And yeah. he responded and then the work has grown from there. So. Yeah. I am truly grateful to be here and to have been given this opportunity. So the Beauty to Ashes Scholarship communicates to other survivors that there are people out there that are willing to take action and allow us to have the opportunity to step into our greatness. It is not a free handout. It is an opportunity it is opening a door and it's sending the message to us and saying, we believe in you. It has not only changed my life, it has changed the life of my children, of my family. I'm a first generation college attendee and future graduate. <laughs> I have come to a place in my life where I no longer operate in fear. I no longer operate in shame. I have been freed. I think of the children. I think of, of the people that are still trapped. And so I speak for them. I speak for them, for the, for the victims that cannot yet speak for themselves. And I say yet because there will come a day when this injustice will be dealt with, so I speak for that.